Welcome back to Devil's Details Diecast Custom Build Series. Today we are working on more parts from the parts box. I have this chassis here from a Jada Toys Chevrolet 58 Chief. And uh, as you can see, it has no chassis or tires. Because I used it for what another truck or whatever. These are the 4x4, big 4x4 trucks. So I've been wanting to make a car hauler for a while, or a flatbed wrecker, I guess, or whichever you want to call it. So I busted out some styrene. Of course, this is very rough at the moment, but I'm going to kind of go with this. This will get cut down a little more. Again, this is just kind of a rough rough estimate so far of what I'm looking at. So what I'll do is build a new chassis out of styrene tube. I'll, uh, of course, finish off the back here. Need some sanding and some straightening out. May try to make it a slide off. I'm not sure. Depends how... Uh, aggressive I get, or I may just make it a standard immovable piece. But, had these parts laying around, have plenty of tires, have plenty of cars that need hauling for builds, so I figured why not put both of them together and uh, see what we got. Alright, so I've jumped ahead a little bit here on this build and did some styrene work. Um, talked to Keith over at Outlaw Speed Shop and he suggested just cutting the bed off of the truck altogether because I was having issues with the uh, wheelbase not being big enough. So, as you can see here, I've put in an axle tube and working on wheels. I'm going to go with these wheels here. I mentioned it numerous times before that I'm not really, uh, you know a stickler for having to have real riders on everything. Of course I'm going to color match them. Um, I'm gonna, not going with a jacked up truck this time. I usually like to do the jacked up trucks. This time I'm going to go with kind of a low rider. Um, you know, car hauler here. So those will be the front tires and the gold. The back tires are a little bit fatter. Oops. I think it'll give it the nice, uh, nice angle I'm looking for when it's sitting. I also was going to make the bed movable, um, but the way I had to build it here, I know it's kind of crude looking, but um, the way I had to build it wasn't going to really go along with having to uh, have it be able to move and stuff, so not too worried about that. Maybe on the next one I will uh, do that, but for now I'm just going to start um, with the wheels and we'll, uh, look how they, we'll check how they look after that. All right, so here we are installing some very tiny side markers to the side of the bed or ramp. Just to add a little more realism. These, of course, will be painted to resemble uh, lights. I'm going to do five on each side. I just cut them out of styrene. A little fiddly, but not too bad.
saw our, uh, Austin do this when he scratch built his ramp. These are a little bit bigger than his, but I like the the bigger lights. Try to space them out a little better. You do get a little bit of working time with this um, Pro Weld stuff, but it does tack up in about 10 seconds, so. Looks pretty good. I don't know. We'll see once we paint it. On to the next side. And if you remember, this is what we started with. A Jada Toys Chevy pickup truck without a chassis. And a piece of styrene for a flatbed. And this is what we came up with. And here we have it, folks, the Chevy Apache car hauler styrene project. Been wanting to make a flatbed for a while and uh, finally decided to just bite the bullet and do it. Um, Try to put some decals on this truck uh, to make it owned by a shop and uh, kept refusing every decal I put on. So I guess it just wanted to be independent. Uh, so I'm going to leave it that way. Maybe if I get some kind of decals later on, I'll I'll put them on the doors. But I think it looks good as it is. Um, always wanted to make kind of a lowered uh, hot rod hauler, if you will. Um, so yeah, the whole back is styrene. Let me take it off of here. Including the base, the front, I had to make a whole new bottom and wheel hold uh, tire holder. A little differential there. We got some levers made out of uh, straight pins. As you saw in the video, I made the reflectors out of some styrene. I think they're a little big, but it works. Let's get you a different stance here. Let's get a hot rod on the back of here. So it's just about perfect size. A little small for some cars, but um, other cars kind of like you know, Volkswagen Bug or smaller cars fit beautifully on it. I love the stance on it. Again, big shout out to Keith at Outlaw Speed Shop for uh, giving me some tips on cutting the whole uh, bed of the pickup truck off and just making the back from styrene and also uh, working with me on the rake of it. So yeah, handmade the winch in the back, just wound some wire around it as you can tell. Some chains in the back. These back lights are actually um, rivets that I just uh, painted with some clear red. Might need a little touch up there. Got some mud flaps on the back. These are just standard uh, Hot Wheels tires. Took off the bumper in the front because it was too low, obviously. But I think it makes a good uh, addition to the junkyard here. Or the, the speed shop, I should say. Along with my refinished Red Lines Larry's Towing. And uh, that's about it. Stick around for a couple of snapshots at the end. This was a fun project and uh, really got my juices flowing as far as working with styrene. So I hope to do a couple more projects in the future. Until then, we'll see you later. Ha, 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 ha.